Now talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. I tolerate no evil under my nose. Neither does my axe. Bring me more revenants so I can chop them up. The king wants to... Okay, so once he says that, I believe we're good. Want to go to inventory? We'll confirm. And then I believe if you look down, he should disappear. You might have to talk to him one more time, but he should disappear. I'm trying to think of if I missed a cart, but I don't think so. Yeah, so he's not there anymore, which is good. Travel, Flaming Mountains. We want to go to the Ashen Pass uh, 3. And then we're going to walk it backwards down. We're going to go back to where we fought uh, the cart. Uh, the last card. We'll talk to him and exhaust his dialogue. So now that his dialogue is exhausted, we're going to do this and then we're going to continue on. So if that's where we just fought the mushroom, we're going to go this way. So now we're going to have to deal with a giant ball of death. Now, there's a little bit of a trick to this, uh, which is why it's so annoying. But we want to let it pass, obviously. And then we're going to... Oh. I'll show you the locations where you have to go to not get leveled by this, but ready. So wait for it, wait for it, and then sprint to here. Oh, shit. Almost forgot about that. That's not a spot. Go, 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 go. If you can make it to here, you're good. You just want to make sure you're on the outside of them so that you don't get pushed backwards. But go, 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 go. Uh, no, god damn it. See, it's so hard to gauge when it's coming back or not. So once it passes, now we go. Uh, to here. Now that thing's going to get flatlined in a second. Oh, well, that's a shame. Go, go, go. Keep sprinting, keep sprinting, and we want to bear right. As you can see, we have a chest. Now, what's annoying about this ball is that there's a moment where it changes up on you, and you're like, oh, what the, what the hell? So, and that comes in a second. So let it pass one more time. Sprint. Get to here. And now this is where it changes. So now it's going to go forward and then back so you want to move when it goes forward uh not this one though not backwards so you would think oh let me run but as you can see it stops right there Almost done. Now this sucks because you have just this little corner to work with. Uh, sprint. Okay, good. So now, uh, now our warthog friend is going to knock that thing down. We're going to go backwards in a sec. Uh, is it backwards? Yes, we're going to go backwards in a second, I believe. It's kind of weird how this layout is, but we want to go grab the shrine. So right here is the end boss. We're not doing this now. Um, there's still a lot we have left to do. But we're going to get this just so we can teleport later. 
rest. And we're going to teleport back to the last shrine. Now we're going to go back down kind of past where we fought the last cart and where we uh, fought the um, or talked to the bison the second time. Bull guy. Uh, this is a little bit of a walk, so I'll skip it. But there's a reason we're doing it. And this was one of those things that a lot of people missed. You know, now I think about it, it probably would have been easy to go from the other shrine, but whatever. And go over here, and you can take this yokai. So this is the ball that was chasing us before. You can get its spirit. So this is where we ran up, right? This was the mushroom. We had the thing. This is kind of the even point or whatever. And then you keep going straight. Like, this is the middle point where it kind of flips on you. Um, and then we kept going straight, and that's where the king is. We're going, to go, we're going to go back, and we're going to go this way. Now, we have a couple bosses to fight here. One being this rock guy that's going to be right in front of you when you walk in. Now, you're going to get attacked by a lot of things here, but just try and focus the rock, dude. He's done, Zell. Now, before you grab that yokai, make sure you heal up as best as you can if you have the ability to. And make sure you have all your mana. Because we're about to do another boss. So this one sucks even more because I think you're also fighting in lava. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. You're also fighting in lava. And basically we're about to fight the, I think it's like the hive mother, I think it's called. And basically what she does is she's like, uh, she'll be surrounded by those little guys that have been shooting at us. So yeah, we're gonna, those little things. So we're gonna have to fight a bunch of her. A bunch of her children, I guess you can say. <laughs> so run over to here, and I just recommend getting in as much damage as possible. Required ore frame. Oh, wow. I actually didn't know that. I didn't know that there was a requirement. Well, that's okay, because we can go over here and we can get our shrine. <laughs> So apparently you get the ore from the worms. Um, I did not know this. So I think the best thing to do would be to go back and farm for those and then do this. I would I would get this over with rather than come back later for it. So you know, let's get this over with. Hopefully, let's hope we get good drops. But knowing me with my YouTuber luck, it's probably not going to happen. Wait, was it flame ore that I needed or a different type of ore? Oh, oh, it was just a flame ore. Never mind. My luck was good. Okay, so basically the idea is just lay in or as best as you can. Get as much damage in as possible. Nothing too crazy. 
But now, should I have rested? Absolutely. Now, I'm going to use my fan before her minions spawn. Just because I feel like that would be ideal. So, now her little guys are showing up. Now, you could just dodge these things. But it might just be easier to take them out. huge heal Jesus so as, as you can see there's a little more of them Jeez. This is the hardest I've ever struggled with this lady. By a landslide. Watch her go under. Okay, thank God. And the kids are kids are like, okay, cool, we out. Thanks, Ma. So we're gonna rest. We're just gonna uh, TP back to that last shrine that we were just at. So just grab this and then TP out. And then we have another boss. And this one sucks. So that's where we came from. We hit the shrine. Now we're going to go this way. So we are going to fight the last cart. Now this cart is a moving cart. He has the same move set as the last guy, but hits a whole lot harder. Never seen that before. I'm actually doing pretty good damage here. This is the beauty of the flame resistance. Now that's kind of what I didn't want. Oh shit, that's gonna hurt. Oh wow, I got very lucky there. Come on. Thank God. So as you can see, not difficult, just like you gotta be careful for the big attacks that he has, otherwise you're kinda screwed. So go over here. Where is he? And our bison friend is he he got he got wrecked. He got wrecked real bad. So talk to him. He dies out. So skip this as well. And you will see this giant totem in the center of the room. Now that takes us to a secret area. Now before you do that, there is a frog in here. And that frog is hard left. Now 
make sure you bear left. You can kind of see him over there. Make sure you bear left because once you go past that rock, in, it initiates the cutscene. So just make sure that you fight him here so that you don't have to like go back. I'm hoping I have enough uh, mana for this. Just shy. Let's see. I'm going to be so pissed if I die to this frog. Thank you. Okay, cool. We're frogged up on a Tuesday. So we have one more frog and that's in the last level. So now we will go into here. As you can see, there's the cutscene that takes us to this new world. Now this world's not big at all. Uh, it's, it's got two bosses in it. And the first one, the first boss I think is fairly easy. It's another double boss. Chest. Go right first. You have a meditation point. Here is our shrine. So we're going to do another double boss. We are fighting the siblings. Kind of the same concept of the last double boss fight, which was the uh, the uh, invisible guy and non-invisible guy. Uh, again, exact same concept, but only easier uh, because I, I shouldn't say easier, but they both have the same abilities. It's just double the health technically. So just kind of laying the both of them same concept they're though they're the person form of the ball that was chasing us before As you can see, it's annoying that they have shields, but. So see, they just kind of just keep swapping out. It's essentially just one person, but they just, they just double the health bar. There is a point where they do fight together, but even then they still kind of stay away from each other. So 
That's why this fight's not particularly hard. So now they're together, and now this is just a matter of just dodging. So now, as you can see, they're fighting together. So I would just take whichever one has less health. Luckily, they're close together where I can kind of abuse the system here. Bye. Oh, I don't think that did anything. I don't know if this will do... I don't know. Yeah, this really is not doing much. What is going on here? Okay, like see that's the kind of shit that gets me so mad because that used to not happen But I can tell like they, they clearly made some changes to the to something in patch notes that really kind of fucked it No way Thank you one down Again, that's that, that's the most this is by far the most I've ever struggled with these people. So it just goes to show you how new game plus plus is. Thank you. Wow. That was annoying. This next one's gonna suck even more. So this part's a little annoying because that guy over there, I believe, is a yokai. But you also have to fight all these guys, too. Otherwise, like, I think there's also a chest. Yep, there we go. There's the chest. So that's why this sucks. Plus, they have shields. Like, there's just no fun part to this. Okay, chest. So there's one more guy you could see who's just kind of peeking right there. Take him out. Big hit. Okay. So we have another boss coming up. Now this boss is difficult if you don't know how it works. So this boss it is a one or a two phase boss depending. So you are able, ooh, what's up here? You are able to fight this guy in two ways, essentially. Can I drop down to that? Yeah. Takes you to the same place. Uh, you can fight this guy in one or two phases. So you can technically beat him outright in the first it's a hard fight so what i would recommend is just doing as much damage as possible getting your health like kind of low and then when you're like oh man this is too much for me to bear you can walk through to the other side and then you'll fight him later on at the same amount of health 
So um, that's kind of what we're going to do here. Uh, I might be able to just do it in the first try, but uh, why? Like, why risk it? So as I said, you can see the door over there. When you get overwhelmed, just walk through that door. Like when you're taking too much damage. But this guy has hard hits, sweeping, tons of health. That's why it's not really designed to be taken on in one go. Ow. So that by this point, you won't have the fan, so. So as you can see, he also turns the floor into lava. Nice, dude. He turns part of the floor into lava, I should say. Yeah, I can probably do this right now, actually. Actually, I can definitely do this right now. Even with my revive, I should be able, definitely with my revive, I'll be able to do this. So as I said, oh, okay, well that's cool. So as I said, if you if you're struggling with this, um, you can just leave and then meet him later on, and I'll show you where that is in a second. But that's the final boss, so it gives you this very long cutscene. All right, so we are booted out from there. We're going to uh, use our um ability and i think that'll take us back in i believe or it just takes us to the last one we rest of that i don't know let's see i'm curious okay so it just takes us back to here but you finished everything in there so now with that we're going to teleport and we're going to do the final boss of this area this is another hard fight um especially if you don't have your resurrection ability yet oh no so it does let you go deeper but there's really no point so we're going to go and we are going to fight the sun that we just you just saw the cutscene for. So this is another two-phase boss. This is one of those guys where you're going to want to use your that ability for. Uh, just because he does a lot of ranged attacks and multi-ranged attacks. But hits hard. That's about it. But basically you just find out that this fox was a liar and is actually the son. I'm getting chunked here. Wow, look at that damage. Wow. Man. I might have to monkey. The 
The problem is Monkey doesn't do that much damage. So this is the halfway point. So this is just a dodging game. Oof. Shoot. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. This is kind of perfect because he just wastes his abilities. Oh, so one thing I should mention is, let's say you do die in the second phase of this, it doesn't start over. So you do get lucky in that sense. You do get lucky in that regard. So you don't have to redo this fight, you just do the second one. Wow, you got me. Oh. Red boy. It's like hell boy, but worse. I'm back, bitch. Can't see. Okay, so that phase is done. We won't have to go through that phase again, which is nice. Uh, so if you die, it just goes right to the next phase. But let me tell you, next phase, a lot harder. A lot more AoE attacks. So, uh, yeah, not fun. And as you can see, hits even harder. See what I mean, dude? Like, that's what you got to be super careful. So he just bails on us, basically. Oh, fuck me. Oh, wait, that was supposed to happen. That's right. I forget what happens here, but like the mother's like, oh, stop. Shit. Dude, that's like that's exactly what I knew was gonna happen too. I was like I was waiting for it. Come on. Watch now, old coat. This is how I shut up your home. So as you can see you don't get the cutscene again, but Nice. Just like that, you have finished chapter four and you get the fan. So that's the big one because you will need the fan for one, the one of the last fights. So guys, chapter five is done. We have one more short chapter and then some follow-up stuff. And I think we're pretty much good. I think we're still at 100%. We haven't missed anything. So um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.